Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA, and today we're back with Griffin Steinfeld. I mean, this is one we've been waiting a while for. What year is it? It's a 1956 Chevy, twin turbo LS. I built the motor myself. It's got a huge turbo 400 transmission, really bitchin' Curry F9 rear end, precision turbos up front. Uh, breathing all the fresh air, precision blow off album wastegate, AFR cylinder heads, John Doherty camshaft. Yeah, it's just because it's, it's a, a fully built motor, it's not yeah. just an LS with twin turbos. No, it's a Dart LS next two block. It's got all the big half inch head studs, main studs. Now, and you're making what kind of power right now with this? When we were on the engine dyno with the turbos, just doing some braking, just super baseline tune and stuff, it made a little over 1400 horsepower and 20 pounds of boost. Um, 1400, you know, like mild. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's, it's we're gonna be on that power level right now, so we'll, we'll be right around that, you know, 12, 1300 wheel range and uh, yeah. the motor seen as high as 41 pounds of boost, so. I can imagine it's really? it's definitely one of the 2000 range once it's really turned up. So wow, dude, it's 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 an animal. Really, I'm focusing on eighth mile. I also like it a little bit better as well. It just saves some wear and tear on parts. Uh, okay, we have to go half the distance. So sure, you know, if you look at a time slip on you know from a drag strip, you have a 60 foot time, a 330 foot time, 660, which is eighth mile. I mean, in terms of zero to 60 mile per hour time, the truck does it in well under a second. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's like eight tenths of a second we're doing six really? miles an hour. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's so insane, yeah. man. Yeah, it's it's. And really what are you crazy. doing an eighth mile in? So far, the thing's gone. Was it five twelve or five fourteen in the eighth at one hundred and thirty six? Gosh. The truck went to Luke and Pat at Axis Innovations once you know it came out of the chassis shop. They pretty much finished all of it. They did all the carbon work, the plumbing on it, and uh, I'm very very happy that they're they had their hands on this thing. And um, you know, it's really honestly the only couple things we got to adjust is that one little transmission issue, Hughes is already on it. Yeah. Um, they even said, hey, uh, go film this video today. We'll take care of it. If something breaks, we're gonna take care of it, so. Right, because you said second gear is gone right now as I don't of have last weekend, gear. right? Yeah, the truck goes from first to third, so. Can we pop the hood and look? Yeah, yeah. Jeez, man. I love the bling bling stuff, so. Gosh. Everything is, is polished and clear ceramic coated, so, you know, when, when I'm in there working on it or I'm having some help working on it. People are putting their hands all over it. You don't see fingerprints, it's super nice. And if greasy hands do slide over parts, you just take a, a little chamois and wipe it all Clean off. It right so, up, huh? Yeah, that's that's a nice part, you know, a little tip for trick out there if you want to keep your polished parts looking nice. Is it full tube chassis, the whole truck? Yes, it is. It is. It is a full tube chassis. I mean, I was Gosh. trying to keep that a secret for a while, but the pictures were getting out, so I mean, it yeah. is what it is. It is still like, steel fender, steel hood, cab doors with power windows. And, you know, it still has a lot of the creature comforts in it. And, you know, that was my biggest thing too, is because, you know, like I said in my, in the other videos with you, no matter how wild my builds get, they still stay treatable. License yeah. registered insured so I can hop in at any time, go yeah. to the grocery market, run to the bank, go get some food in it. it the truck runs on three different it's fuels. True. It'll go on 91, E85, and then when we're hammering on it, it's on methanol, so. Cause I already noticed you got a beadlock wheel on the back. What are the wheels you're running on here? The fronts are welds. They are 17 by four and a halfs up front. The rears are Sanders double beadlock. They're uh, 15 by 14, so 14 inches wide. Uh, and uh, it's got a, a radial tire on it. So I'm a big fan of all the radial stuff. Uh, I used to race on a slick a whole bunch. And the second I took, it was actually the Chevelle I, I went down the track the first time on a radial with. First time I did that, man, I'm sold. Never going back to a slick, so. Really? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's crazy how much of a difference a change, changing a tire does. Um, a radial tire is way more efficient than a slick. And it's kind of interesting to hear that because with a slick, you have to manage traction. With a radial, you slam that thing in the ground as hard as you can. It's completely locked up to the ground and it does not spin. I like the look, by the way, of how you went with, you removed the handles, although you didn't. You've got actually, ex <laughs> do you see this? Do you see where his door handle's at? It's the only part on this truck that's a Ford part. That's from a Ford like Model A. No, I think that's a cool thing, dude. When we were getting in it just a little while ago, I mean, normally it's going to be here, obviously, and that's going to look ugly on this thing. Yeah. Plus, probably I got to guess probably part of that's arrow. It's going to create some level of drag. So actually, I mean, I'll step back a little bit. The, the, the kind of the story with this truck, the way I got this truck, I was walking down uh, to go to her place and I saw this truck sitting in this dude's driveway behind gates. I stopped dead on my tracks and I'm sitting there at the gate like a little kid staring at this thing and he just so happened to walk out start talking to him about it. I'm like, dude, this thing is so rad, like super cool. My, you know, pops walked up and, you know, we could talk, would you ever sell it? And the dude's all, no, no, I'll never sell it. This is my father's son project. And, 
and that you know that stuff. So we later found out it was the author Braveheart. So a couple of months later, here it is. So I actually spent time with him playing music. No way. Sure did. You you should show him this. This is sure his truck. Did. <laughs> that is so. Fu that's funny to hear. <laughs> that is really funny. That's rad. He's but. a cool guy. When I got the truck from him, door handles were already shaved. He had done a few cool things. I mean, the thing had a you know a stock small block 327 in it. And, uh -huh. You know, it was just a great little. Sunday little cruiser. street cruiser. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The cage work is really extraordinary in this. I mean, it's a little bit of a crawl in, but one, but it's, it's actually a jungle not gym bad. for sure. It's not, it's, it's not as bad as it, it. It looks a little more intimidating than it is getting in. The other thing I love is your, I, I love your exhaust exit on this. Yeah. I, I mean, that's a short, because you're coming straight off turbos, dropping down and straight out, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's two, maybe three feet worth of pipe. Gosh, and, man. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, I was actually like in a real big debate with myself. Like, do I make the exhaust wrap up around and exit in the back of the front fender, like behind the front tire, oh. or you know, go through the hood, or you know, because exhaust is a big portion of a car to me. Like, it's it it sets the tone. I've never ever been in a drag vehicle when the chute comes out. <laughs> okay. How how like how much do you notice it when you're when it comes out and it fills with air, is it a noticeable slow up? It's, it's the, I guess the best way to put it, it's almost like getting in a head on collision with a marshmallow. It's a very like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird, you know? It's a very positive engagement, like you know it deploys, but it's okay. a very just nice like, whoo, okay. you know? And so anyway, this is one of the cool things too. Everything's Bluetooth as well, so we do that and then You could blow. Come on! You started from your from your phone. <laughs> That's badass. All right, time to go for a drive. Cool. Let's get in this puppy and do it. Hey guys, before we go for a drive. Head over to atlamerch.com and check out the store. We've got shirts and hats, stickers, keychains, and of course, the hot chick shirt. All right, let's go for a drive. Oh yeah, okay, it's loud. 